What's happening, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. Our former Cougs have themselves a weekend in the NFL. Our current Cougs are killing it in fall camp and only 10 days away from BYU football versus Utah. Let's go. What a weekend for our Cougs in the NFL. Daniel Sorensen had three total tackles and one solo for the Chiefs. And Taysom Hill, wow. He led the Saints to a game-winning fourth quarter drive. Went 11 for 15 with 136 passing yards, two touchdowns, and 53 rushing yards on five carries. And he had a tackle on special teams. What a big win for Taysom over the Chargers, which is unfortunate for Michael Davis, but the two looked pretty happy together before the game. Where was Corbin in this? He's the same as well, but I guess he didn't get an invite to the bonding moment. It's okay. He did have a tackle and one pass deflection for the Saints, so at least there's that. And Bronson had three total tackles, two solo tackles, one tackle for loss, one sack, and two pass deflections for the Jets on Thursday. Speaking of the Kafusis, I caught up with Devin Kafusi after a fall camp practice. First of all, is keeping up with the Kafusi still a thing? Not really. I, I, everyone's moved out and has been away. It was just a fun thing to have over the over the time where everyone's in town. And so, um, but there's always something going on still. Well, Cougar Nation's keeping up with your brothers, Corbin and Bronson in the NFL. What's it like for you to keep up with them there? Um, it's been really neat. I mean, I'm busy myself here with this fall camp, and so after each practice, because um, they're busy as well all day, and they're on different time zones and everything. But we'll be able to get a quick text and a review in today and ask, hey, how's it going? How's this? Or I heard this happened today with you. Like, tell me about that. They love it and been so grateful for this place. And so um, I think they're more excited for me in my season here just because they know what BYU football has been about and what it's done for them. So they're excited to see. You spend a lot of time with the guys, have fun with them during fall camp. Who do you feel like is the biggest jokester on the team? Is there one that sticks out? I think I'm a pretty big jokester. And so I kind of gravitate to the other guys that you know, will laugh with me, and Will Watanabe, he's just one of my good friends, he jokes down, Keenan Peely, one of my good friends I went to high school with as well, so we're able to go way back with some jokes. All on our D-line, we're a really tight unit and have a really fun time. Uh, I always give Jaren a hard time. Jaren and I, um, we played, played each other all growing up, and so we just love having that little rivalry and, and joking around, so him on the offense and me on the defense, and so it's been, it's been really fun with all these guys. This week wraps up fall camp for the Cougs. We're getting close, guys. Only 10 days. 10 days till BYU football takes on Utah in the season opener. Let's do something special for this. 10 things I hate about you. Wait, okay, not, not that. How about top 10 rivalry moments on Twitter? Number 10. The Rock found out who their number neighbor is. They're not too happy about it. Number nine. Utah fans, well, being Utah fans. Number eight, remember when Yoli dunked on the whole University of Utah? Number seven, remember when Barstool Sports tweeted out that Zach Wilson was gonna update his jersey number every time BYU beat Utah? Yeah, he, he didn't say that, but we still love it. Number six, Jimmer Mania, just, not for Utah fans. Number five, Zach Wilson shutting down Bradley and I's shade. <laughs> this isn't even the best part though. That brings us to number four. I love it so much. Number three, Lisa Wilson, AKA the first mom of BYU football, kindly explaining that Lavelle Edwards Stadium it's a little bit bigger than Rice Eccles Stadium. Number two, this shout out to Utah fans for up in our social media engagement. And coming in at number one, this proud Cougar fan, repping BYU at the Utah Parade. We don't deserve this hero, but we have it. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go and give us that follow. I'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, 
I'm going to be waiting for some more rivalry tweets. Bye.